Hello. Hope you're doing okay tonight. Hope you're getting off the couch and doing some exercise. I'm gonna make a quick dinner here. I've got my cheddar bay biscuits already in the oven. And um, these shrimp were frozen. Most seafood is, it says fresh, but it's been frozen before. And I didn't take all the tails off because sometimes it's just fun to have the tails on and nibble them. And I started melting some butter. I took half of a cube. This is uh, unsalted butter. And it's real butter. I don't like using margarine or anything. You can use what you want. And then I put a splash of vegetable oil in there. And I'm gonna use garlic, and then I'm gonna use some pepper in this. Giving my hands a quick wash here. important to wash your hands in between touching foods. That's why you don't get any cross-contamination. And I'm going to use some garlic powder. Tastes like salt, but is not salt. So I feel like it's healthier. And I do a generous sprinkling of the garlic powder. If you had a person in your family who doesn't like garlic, you could use whatever spice you want or prefer. You could use Mrs. Dash. You could use several things. I love this pepper. I like to grind it right in for the skillet as I'm cooking. This was my grandma's and the pepper just tastes better when it's ground right into it in my opinion. I'm going to turn this up just a little bit here. You don't want to overcook the shrimp but you want to make sure that they're done. We still have these Teflon paint so I try not to use anything that would scratch the surface. I'm just going to give that a quick stir. Wonderful thing about shrimp is it's easy to prepare. And uh, most everybody likes it. I mean, that's one thing. You either like seafood or you don't like seafood. So, um, But in this particular case, my mom and I just love shrimp. And... It's easy, and I'll make us a quick salad to go with this. And like I said, I have the Cheddar Bay Biscuits in the oven. I used a mix for those. I'm doing kind of a semi-homemade thing, which I absolutely love. It helps me fast forward. Um, we've been working out on the farm today, and we're tired, and uh, we decided to watch some movies and kick back a little bit so this will be perfect and um, if we decide that we don't want to eat all of this tonight then we can have some in our salad for lunch tomorrow it smells delicious now it's really getting nice and bubbly. That's what I want.
The great thing about shrimp, you know it's done after it's turned this real pretty pink color. Pink and white is what you want to see. I'm putting more pepper in it. I love the taste with the shrimp and the butter. All that deliciousness. mom doesn't like to cook anymore. She's cooked for our family for years and years and years. And so now I do the cooking and then she likes to do the dishes. That works for both of us. careful to turn each piece over that it's just kind of it looks kind of grayish um, and you want it opaque so I'm going to turn these over just to make sure they're all nice and done and this meal once you have the shrimp thawed and the biscuits in the oven I mean it's going to be less than 30 minutes from from uh, the time I put the biscuits in because they're only going to take 14 to 16 minutes and I pre prepped my meal so it's going to be really super fast for the biscuits I'm going to brush them with this butter that I did it's a garlic butter and all I did was put it in the microwave for just a few seconds and then I sprinkled the garlic powder in there. And I'm going to stir it with my thing. That's going to be great. I'm going to turn my shrimp off because I don't want to overcook it. And I'm going to show you our biscuits. Ooh. Those are looking delicious. I like to see them more golden brown than, than that. I have the oven on 425. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. And um, I'm gonna plate this up with a small salad. And I hope you enjoy my videos. Please subscribe if you do. That way I can keep making more and I know that you like them. Have a wonderful evening and God bless you.